So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. Once you're on this, you want to expand display adapters. Then you want to right click on your graphics card and click on update driver. And then click on search what's messy for drivers. If the best drivers for your device have already been installed, then you want to go back and click on browse my computer for drivers. And then click on let me pick from a list. Then you want to try to install the one that comes up here. Click on next and install that. For the second step, you want to try to lower your graphics settings on Resident Evil 4. And you should also turn off ray tracing like how it is in the picture. Now for the next step, you want to head over to Steam, then you want to find Resident Evil 4. I don't have it installed, but just imagine this is Resident Evil 4. So once you find it, you want to right click on it and then click on properties. And then head over to installed files, and then you want to verify integrity of the game files. Now once that's loading, you want to click on browse, which will open up the game files. So you want to scroll down until you find the exe. So for you, it might say Resident Evil 4.exe. Once you find that, you want to right click on it, and then click on properties, and then head over to the compatibility tab. And then you want to tick run this program in compatibility mode and tick disable full screen optimizations and tick run this program as administrator and then click on OK. Now the problem should be fixed, but if it's still not fixed, then you want to head over to your manufacturer's website for your graphics card and download the drivers from there. I'll leave three links down below in the description for Nvidia, AMD and Intel. Just download the latest drivers for your graphics card and then once you do that, you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.